A rising flame was alight as the flow of time carved a new history for Fogland. The ambitions of the fell king Nemesis were crushed, averting what could have been the greatest crisis in the history of Fogland. After five and a half years of war, a new age was set to begin. Country, faith, history, all that had once formed the order of the world was wiped clean. The heroes whose very hand saved Fodlan from a dark fate commenced with the building of a new society. The leaders of this new, unified Fodlan began their walk down a seemingly endless path, one towards a world that would cherish differences in race and belief, one where all life would be valued equally. Those leaders clung to the hope that their path would not end with Fodlan, that it would someday span the seas to Dagda and beyond the throat to Almira. Claude, you gotta get a different, like, painting, dude. <laughs> it looks so bad. <laughs> also, yeah, I guess we just ended racism, Slyro. Yeah, good for us. It's just that easy. Hey, Professor. What are you doing daydreaming in a place like this? Oh, yes, my wife. <laughs> I was doing the same thing, but still. I've been thinking, Professor. I worked hard to make it this far. All I wanted was to enjoy life, but so much for that. I had to go and become diligent, and it's entirely your fault. My bad. It is? Yes. You believed in me even when I told you not to. When I failed, you encouraged me. You kept looking out for me. Being treated like that, well, it made me want to try harder. I've gone to such lengths for you, you know. Gah, what a pain. Thank you. Ha! Does that mean I'm off the hook now? I guess it doesn't matter because peace is here. No more hard work. Let's celebrate. Not so fast. Aw, what? I thought the fighting was over. <gasps> Does this mean what I think it means? Wow, I... If I accept, we'll be depending on each other for the rest of our lives. Your life's gonna be hard. You want to lay that burden on me, too? Here I thought I was free as a bird again. Don't you think this is a bit much? Ugh, you're doing it again, overestimating me. And yet, I have no choice but to accept. It's all your fault again. This time, for making me fall in love with you. I do have one condition, however. Don't go thinking you can keep expecting things from me. A girl's got to draw a line in the sand somewhere. From now on, I'm only going to do the things I want to do. So, say if I want to support you for the rest of our lives, I'll go ahead and do that. And I'll do the best I can. As for you, you had better keep taking care of me too. Got it? <laughs> well then, now that all of that is settled, I happily accept. Thank you for watching over me and believing in me. Let's keep doing that for each other for the rest of our lives. What what a pose to accept a proposal. <laughs> yeah. I think it's neat. Every uh, character gets their little special pose. It is nice. Jet, what are you doing here? You missed the very end of the game. <laughs> oh, battle data! Here we go! How yeah, many times yeah, are we gonna see Byleth, Claude, and Hilda here? <laughs> Probably almost all of them. Hilda's great, I like Hilda a lot. Ignatz, we had 24 yeah. turns at the Red Canyon? What were we doing? Oh, that was chapter two, it's just a really long chapter. Uh, Lysithia, Byleth, Byleth, what a shock. There's Hilda's first! The rumors of a <laughs> Reaper. Leone! How? Oh, yeah, she was, like, good in the first It was a paralogue. Oh, there's Felix. That must have been, like, when we got Felix. Yeah, there we got Felix, and then immediately MVP. <laughs> MVP. Oh, there's Claude again. Not bad. There's Byleth. 
Fire Emblem Three Houses is a good game. I will say I'm a little mad because those last two chapters we just did should have been at the end of the Black Eagle route. Like it would have to be like yeah. tweaked a little bit, but there's no reason it shouldn't have been. Yeah. When was Ingrid? Ingrid was really good at some point. There's Ignatz again. He uh, got like two. Good for him. Maybe Ingrid we just got used three Ingrid a lot when we got it. Three. She did three in a row for like the actual chapter and then two paralogues. There's Hilda That's again crazy. at the ocean view. There's Ingrid again. What? what I do not happen? remember Ingrid being this amazing in this playthrough. This music is very, very good. Ignatz. There's, oh, there's Hilda again. There's Lysithia. I was wondering where she was. Reunion at Dawn. Oh, that was, yeah, I remember that one. Oh, yeah, that's the time skip. Because she's in her time skip outfit. She's the first one. Yeah, then Claude, okay. then Legend of the Lake. That was the turtle. There's, there's Hilda three times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I love that. Oh, there's Claude twice in a row. Maybe more. Nah, then Byleth comes back in. The war at Grondor. That makes sense. And then there, it's just like going to be a bunch of Claude, Byleth, and Hilda at the end there. No, That's there's really Ingrid again for the two hero, the two turn paralogue. What was that? <laughs> Hilda, I no Hilda, idea. dude, I love Hilda. Yeah, I know Black yeah. Eagles is the shortest route. I'm saying it shouldn't have been. They should have done it better. Yeah. Byleth, and then we had Claude for the last two. Yeah. That's a pretty good spread. I'm surprised we didn't have more Felixes. Yeah, I think I don't know. Hilda, I guess. Claude stole a lot more than I would have expected. Yeah, I did see Claude more than I thought we would. I do like that they show you that at the very end. That's very neat. Yeah, it's always fun. Oh, hey, Blaine. The slumbering princess. All right. Oh, I'm gonna, I am gotta read so I much! See. Yeah, you do. Blaine disappeared soon after the war, and over time it was all but forgotten that she had ever existed! <laughs> Many long years later, however, a young woman resurfaced in a completely transformed Fodlin. When she looked at the man who stood beside her, she wondered if it would be alright in this new era to call him father. Oh, Seteth, heir of purpose. Seteth remained at the monastery and worked to restore the authority of the Church of Saros. Doing away with his old strictness, he adopted a tolerant stance toward all. His encouragement of believers to respect those of other faiths helped the people of Fodlin to find common ground with others. Good for him. Nice. Oh, I love Crimson Flower. It's my favorite route still, even after playing this. Definitely. Everybody else should either be paired or have like a full oh, ending. Well, here's Lorenz. Oh, they still give it. Even <laughs> Fell in battle okay. in the outskirts. Verdant Rain Moon 1186. Sucks <laughs> okay, to so suck. Okay, it's just like a, okay. Sucks to suck, nerd. <laughs> oh, there's, right, so there's Raphael. All right, everyone after this should be like paired or have like Fell a natural battle ending. in the outskirts. Verdant Rain Moon 1186. Here we go. All right, now let's see what happens. If they're paired, Boy. it puts them both up at the same time, right? Yeah. Oh, here's Lysithia by herself. She didn't get with anyone. We okay. had more women than men. Scholar of misfortune. Lysithia returned home to help her parents restore the family land. Years later, when the end of their hard work was finally in sight, she relinquished House Ordelia's claim to nobility, ceding the territory to a nearby lord. Shortly thereafter, she and her family disappeared into obscurity. If you don't marry someone, your <laughs> life sucks in this game. Ah, oh, Marianne yeah. and Linhard are together. Oh, neat. Marianne returned home to a warm welcome from her adoptive father, who recognized her wisdom and skill and began to groom her as a successor. So her dad became a good guy for some reason? Door. Meanwhile, Linhard abandoned his noble claim and happened to choose Mer Margrave Edmund's territory as the site in which to continue his crest research. Edmund took a liking to Linhard and approved wholeheartedly when the scholar and his daughter expressed their wish to marry. As Edmund's successors, the couple combined Linhard's brilliance with Marianne's practical wisdom to bring abundance to the people. Alright, that's Neat. nice. Ingrid is by herself, did not get paired. This is looking good for Felix Dorothea. It is. When Galatea territory was seized, Ingrid argued strongly for the preservation of its borders. Her request was granted, and she was appointed to rule. From her new position, she gave her all to ensure that the people of Galatea lived peaceful lives and put in years of hard work to reform its farming practices. Her efforts bore fruit to the people's delight, and Galatea became a land of plenty. Good for her. Way better than Lysithia. Yeah, it's gotta be... Ignatz is with Shamir? How? Oh, what? <laughs> Who is Leone with? Soon after the war, Shamir disappeared. Ignat searched unsuccessfully for her for a time, but finally gave up and went home. With hard-won permission from his family, he then set out to travel the world as an artist. Years later, he encountered Shamir by chance at an inn. When she saw that Ignatz had not yet left Fodlin, she encouraged him to leave the region and offered to stay at his side and guard him until he did. It is rumored that he was overjoyed by this offer and that the pair soon departed Fodlin to the west by sea, but where they traveled after that is unknown. Aw, oh, that sucks. Who was Claude with? Is Claude on his own? Aw, oh, Dorothy and Felix, let's go! All Let's right, go! Cool. That's I'm, all I'm that matters! Worried. That's like, all that matters! Clap like, for the- like Clap for OTP, chat! Clap for OTP! 
Even after the war's end, skirmishes continued to break out across Bodlin, learning that there were still places where he could fight. Felix abandoned his noble title and chose to make a living with his sword. He traveled the land and some years later found himself in Imbar. There he encountered Dorothea, who had just resumed her career as a songstress in the opera. From that time on, no matter how far Felix traveled, he always found himself drawn back to that opera house. It is said when Dorothea saw his face in the crowd, she sang only for him. Love that. Claude and Leone? How? <laughs> so weird. Leone returned to Swan Village to repay her debts and mysteriously vanished afterwards. Some years later, when trade between Fodland and Almira began in earnest, the village received notice that the Almiran king would be passing through on his way to Garrig Mok. The village rushed to prepare themselves. When the anticipated day arrived, they were shocked to find Leone at the king's side. She had gone to visit Claude and Almira and had ended up staying to become his queen, okay? Faced with the sight of Leone in the resplendent clothing of a monarch, her father and the other villagers could do nothing but stand in mute amazement. You really trying to tell wow. me that Leone became a queen in this timeline? That's awful. Yeah. Yeah. Ruler of Dawn and Free Spirit. Byleth announced his marriage to Hilda shortly after becoming leader of the United Kingdom of Fodlan. As queen, Hilda rarely took part in politics herself, but she nevertheless contributed greatly to the restoration of Fodlan by recommending exceptional people to influential positions. Her hobby of creating fashionable accessories also bore fruit as her designs achieved widespread popularity, and she created the first artisan academy in Fodlan. The school produced many talented craftsmen, one of whom created a statue that expertly captured the king's delight at receiving the gift of a bracelet from the queen. Ah, oh, that's nice. I like that. I can't believe that, like, Ignatz and Shamir and then Claude and Leone, like, that's, that's so who weird, I wanted yeah. them to end up with. That's so strange. Because I, like, I'm pretty sure Ignatz and Leone ended up together when I played through uh, Golden Deer. That's what I was expecting. Yeah, same here. Well, other than that flip, everything else basically went how I wanted it to. Yeah, that definitely was better than what it could have gone. I've all had the, all that really matters is happen. that Felix and Dorothy ended up together. I really like their so ending scared. where it's so like scared. Felix is just off being a mercenary and then he like ends up going back to the opera house all the time to watch Dorothy. I really like that. Yeah, it's neat. That's really cute. Oh, Edge of Dawn is playing. You don't get to hear this in the Black Eagle ending. Oh. Yeah, did you not know that? I don't, I don't pay attention that much to what music plays where. That's fair. This song in Japanese, it's called Edge of Dawn, like, in English, but I'm pretty sure in Japanese it's called Ballad to Herezvelg or something like that, so because it's meant oh. to be a song to Edelgard, so it doesn't play in Edelgard's route because she lives. That makes sense. I really love it. Yeah, that's a neat touch. All right, chat, well, there you have it. We did it. We finished Fire Emblem Three Houses, and as long as these credits go for about five to ten minutes, we did it, like, <laughs> right at a little past four hours, which is perfect. Yeah, I, I, there's, I don't think there's like a, there's not like a post credit scenes in three houses, right? Like the ending is when they give all those so. little notes. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it'll probably get to the end of the credits and it'll, I don't know, maybe tell you about New Game Plus or something. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, something like it might like put up a little nice little mark, but uh, a little. Oh, you? I think you do get a little thing on your save file that it says like clear file or whatever. Yeah, something like that. All right, but yeah, Fire Emblem Three Houses, really good game. It's really fun. I, uh, as I have mentioned before in this playthrough, and as I have told people as they uh, ask, I'm not really a Fire Emblem fan. I played the most recent games. I played Awakening and Fates and didn't like them all that much. But I am a Three Houses fan. I do really like Three Houses. This is a very good game. It's got a, it's got a uh, really, really good, uh, what was the word I was going to use? It's a really good, like, uh, it's a good game to jump into without having to play any of the others. And, like, and, uh, it has a ton of replayability with all the different uh, pathways you can take it. Not only with the four routes, but also dip doing each route differently with, like, what characters you use and who ends up with who and stuff. I do still wish... My only, like, real major complaint that stays throughout the entire game, which you told me was kind of fixed in the DLC, is mm -hmm. that you don't get to choose who ends up with who. Because that was the one thing that, like, when I played Awakening and Fates, that was, like, my favorite part, was, like, seeing all the interactions and then choosing who gets to end up with who. I do kind of also wish that you didn't, that you could like get them together like in the story instead of it only being a like the very end you see who ended up with who thing. But uh, that's a minor complaint. Yeah, I kind of, I, I kind of wish for like a middle of that because I actually really like like seeing the ending and being like, oh, who ended up with who? Oh, what's the ending? Who got what? Yeah, but that is also. It, pretty it would nice. be neat if you could saying. pick. It, it would be neat if you could pick the pairings and then still get the thing at the end where it elaborates on like what. Actually oh, absolutely! Like it would be like it would be amazing if like you could get them together like in the thing like you do in Awakening, where they like and it has some relevance with them getting married like in the storyline. Yeah. But yeah. then like at the very end, they're like, "This is what they went on to do after that." Like I definitely yeah, would. Yeah, yeah. I would not want to get rid of that. I love seeing at the end. It's like this is what every character did, whether they were yeah, married yeah, yeah. or not. Yeah. But yeah, yeah very very good. Room. Oh yeah, Fire Emblem Three Houses, really good game. Really enjoyed it. I don't really uh, I don't know like eight out of ten game. Definitely, I would say, with the amount of options you have with it and replayability and all that, you know, 
Only thing that's like really frustrating is basic RNG, which is just in a game like this. So, you know, not really anything you can do about that. And then uh, yeah. the fog is just a really dumb mechanic that I feel like is used so little that it I don't even know why it exists. But again, that's yeah. super minor and is only comes up in like bonus stuff, basically. So Yeah, it's just a couple paralogs and whatnot. But yeah, really good game. Good, I'm, I'm glad we made it through. Yeah, it was very good. Three houses ending, very nice. I still prefer Crimson Flower because I'm a huge fan of Edelgard and like in the entire setup of like the lore of how like the world works and all that with like the church being bad and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. Everything that happens, like I'm 100% like I would side with Edelgard and I want her to win. So Crimson Flower is definitely still my favorite, uh, my favorite one as of now with me having finished Golden Deer. But Golden Deer was also very good. Uh, I haven't played through like the time skip version of blue lions i only played a good bit of like the start of it so i don't know what i can say about that but i do have a sneaking suspicion that blue lions would probably be my least favorite of all the routes but i obviously can't say that for certain without having played it silver snow i have like a somewhat general understanding of but not really so i really can't say anything on it either but i know that you still get to use ferdinand von eyer in silver snow so that's what really matters yeah that's very true you get to use ferdinand you can use dorothea the dream all that so, good stuff. This music is so good. I, could stay. I like how they put Edelgard slash Flame Emperor. Dorothea <laughs> wow. and Shamir have the same voice actress? <laughs> I had absolutely huh. no idea. That's wild. Wow, that is crazy. Yeah, I, I wouldn't hear that. Uh. Bum, 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 bum. Yuritsa oh. slash Death Knight slash Lambert? Who is Lambert? <laughs> uh, Lambert is Dimitri's father. He was the oh. king. Oh. He's, like, dead. Yeah. Why did he even get a voice? Or is he? Oh, does I mean, he? At the end of Blue nah, Lion's nah. round, he comes back like, uh, nah. what's his face <laughs> does as the final villain? No, nah, I think it was, like, a flashback or something. Oh, of course. You know how long these credits are? Uh, no. <laughs> well, I... I don't like I to skip all the credits. I don't like to skip credits in my playthroughs because it feels disrespectful. But also, yeah. I feel like a lot of people who make video games, when they make the credits, disrespect the player by making them too long. Yeah, I kind of I, I go by that as well. Where it's like, you know, if I finish like a game that I really like, you know, I'll let the credits play for a couple minutes. But after a few minutes go by, if it's like still going, I'm like. All right. It, uh... I'm especially bad if it's still going when it's like this, because, like, you see how much room is on the screen right now? They could have split this in half and had, like, a left and a right side going at the same time. Yeah, they could have had more on, like, uh, the screen at once. Also, they could do what a lot of other, like, games do that's, like, really good. I think most Kingdom Hearts games do it, where, like, there's stuff happening in the background. Like, yeah. they're showing, like, in Kingdom Hearts, I don't... I, I can't remember the exact game, but I know there's a Kingdom Hearts game where it just, like, throughout the credits, it, like, shows you clips throughout the entire playthrough. Of like cutscenes and stuff that happen, and other games do that as well. Yeah, I think it'd be neat. If there was like I don't know art of some sort, like in the background here. Yeah, or some really nice artwork going through of like the different characters. Like they could have really put down some artwork of like some of the characters, like just being around, and they'd have to. It'd probably be annoying to program with like who's dead and who's not, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Of like what they do after, or just like past shots of them, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of things that they. Yusuke Yoda. What a name. Uh, yeah. Daisuke Okumura, related to Haru Okumura, I assume? Yeah, probably. Honestly. Uh. But yeah, Three Houses, very good. Very good game. Would recommend. Even if, yeah. even if people, like, game. aren't a fire... Like, the only reason I wouldn't recommend Fire Emblem is if someone told me, like, dude, I hate tactics gameplay. I'd be like, well, you know, probably yeah. don't want to touch Fire Emblem then. <laughs> but, like... Even if you're a person who's like, eh, I'm not really a big fan of Fire Emblem. I like played Awakening and then I like played like another one on like the Game Boy or something. I'd be like, eh, you should you should try it. If it wasn't the gameplay that you like hated, you should you should give Three Houses an attempt. Yeah, yeah, Three Houses is a good, uh, it, it's a good like starting game for Fire Emblem, but it's also probably just a good starting game for tactics games in general. I agree. Uh, Honestly, that's why I a think couple it... others and most others feel like they're even more complicated than Fire Emblem. At least Three Houses for sure. Yeah. Fire Emblem is a good way to see if you're into tactics gameplay in general. I also think it's just like a a good like just standalone game. Even if yeah. you're not looking to be like, oh, I want more of this. Like I want more like of this gameplay style or like I want more of a Fire Emblem game. You know. Yeah. It's it's great. It's a very good game. 
I'm, I'm giving it like another minute and then I'm skipping this. Because <laughs> I'm very hungry. <laughs> like, I'm getting hungry enough that I'm starting to get a small headache, so like, I need to go eat. Yeah, do like an hour and a half ago, it's just like, oh man, it's like, I'm really starting to feel it. Yeah. Um, it kind of went away, but now it's starting to come back now that you... <laughs> yeah, also, I have to, uh... I'm already probably not gonna get all of my Xenoblade achievements ready for stream tomorrow, which means I'm gonna have to stream Xenoblade on Wednesday instead of Tuesday. So, like, I... I gotta get to work, man! I got some grinding to do. I gotta mm. go grind up burst affinities and stuff to get these achievements. I don't have time to sit through these credits. I'm sorry, yeah. I'm sorry, Steven Grimm, but I just, I don't have time. Yeah... You got, you got right, things I'm, to do, places to be. I'm hitting the start button. I will skip, yes. Thank you. Save the game one last time. And it just takes you back to the logo immediately with no fanfare. Well, Slyro, thank you so much for joining me for this playthrough that spanned, like, this is probably like part 170, give or take, somewhere around there. Absolutely. But, uh, thank you so much for joining me. It was it was a great fun time. Everyone who watched on YouTube and Twitch, I hope you all enjoyed as well. Do not expect any more Fire Emblem on the channel. <laughs> I'm just giving you the straight up warning. There might be a chance like a year or something from now. I'm like, you know what I want to do? I want to play Fire Emblem Three Houses again. And then maybe, but even then, I wouldn't count on it. Would not count on it. Just be be glad that you got what you did here. Don't don't play the opening cutscene game. Be, be glad with what you got and enjoy it. But uh, yeah, that is going to be it for Fire Emblem Three Houses Golden Deer Route. Very good game. Great characters. Great. Just great. Really good. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope to catch you in future stuff. Be sure to check out Slyro's channel. A link to his channel is in the description below. He does a lot of cool stuff over on his channel. Uh, I don't know if he'll be doing any Fire Emblem at any point or not, but maybe. Probably, probably eventually. Probably eventually. He's got a capture card now, so it could happen. So you might see some more Fire Emblem on his channel or other stuff, but definitely check him out. And uh, check out my Twitch channel if you want to catch future playthroughs live as I do those whenever they happen. Thanks so much, and we'll catch you all next time. Until then, farewell. <laughs>